How about loves? Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is I don't think Philadelphia is ready to eat Chipotle. The scripture comes from Proverbs 31 and 10. A wife of noble character who can find she is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. Go ahead and stand for somebody that um so y'all like I feel like this message is for women, okay, ladies. You have to understand that when you meet your spouse, when you and your spouse first come together, it's not always going to be a situation where y'all going to automatically click. It's not always going to be a situation where they going to automatically know. And sometimes it could be a situation where your person is not going to be ready because, you know, when we are in waiting for our person, a lot of times there are counterfeits, okay? The devil is sending people and people are just there and you know what I'm saying? So it's not a situation where it's not always going to be a situation where this person is just single and waiting. Sometimes it could be a situation where they are actively dating other people. It could be a situation where they're trying to get to know people, becoming friends with people. And you have to understand that once you are put placed into their life, you going to outshine them. And it's like, you it like regardless. And then even if it's a situation where they may have whatever going on that, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a situation where like God will put up blockages to ensure that you end up with who you supposed to end up with. And you know what I'm saying? And whoever else end up with who they supposed to end up with. And I just feel like, that's this message. Like, that's what the message is. Go ahead and say, even if your person not ready, it don't mean that you're not the person they supposed to be with. They may just not be ready yet. They may have some more fun to get out. I'm just being honest. Uh, <laughs> in future words, okay? In the words of future himself, okay? Somebody they have a sign. Mm. Seems like he might have slowed down. But you know what I'm saying? I'll just say, I'm being real. I just feel like that's the message. Go ahead and say, some people think, I just feel like somebody, like, it may, it may take some time to get accustomed. It may take some getting used to. And it's nothing wrong with that because it is, like, dramatic to go from being by yourself to being with somebody else. And you know what I'm saying? Getting used to that. And especially if you, like, was single for a minute, you know what I'm saying? You got to get back into the swag of things, into the swing of things, into the, you know, because... It's certain things that you can do when you're single, and you know what I'm saying? It don't matter. But when you're in a relationship, you might be hurting somebody's feelings. You might be stepping on your person's toes. You might be disrespecting your person. And you know what I'm saying? And when it comes down, nobody want to be disrespected. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just feel like that's what it is. And, um... Yeah, and this this may even be a situation where this person may be saying they want to be single. They want to be single. You know what I'm saying? It may be that like I'm see I'm um I just feel like I'm warning you that it may be like that. This person may even um take back the idea of being with you. They may you know what I'm saying deliberately leave you and outright choose others over you. But God said they gonna come back and they coming back because you for them. And you know what I'm saying? Whoever these other people are, they like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I just feel like it's what they used to. It don't even have to be a situation where it could be a, like, it could really be a vibe where if you and any other person was like lined up, they would choose you every time. And like, you know what I'm saying? But just because they used to certain things or other people are used to certain things, because you got to understand when you used to somebody that is single, are you used to, you know what I'm saying? Just like getting to know somebody or hanging out with somebody or, you know what I'm saying? And not all of a sudden that's different. It kind of make it, I just feel like it will make it awkward. What if, you know what I'm saying? If you still friends, you still cool. You don't want to just, you know what I'm saying? I, I just feel like that's what's going on with this right here. And it ain't nothing. It's nothing wrong with just being friends, but you have to just keep it there. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like that's what a respect thing and a trust come in at because you have to trust your person enough to know okay they not finna this person you know what i'm saying they had ample time and opportunity ample time and opportunity now for whatever reason they still insist on flirting in your person's face that's their choice but when it really come down to it they had ample time and opportunity that's up to your person if they gonna go ahead and fall for the okie doke you know what i'm saying and jeopardize their relationship for somebody that's playing with them okay you know what i'm saying because if they was gonna be together they will be together you know what i'm saying that's just what it is and i just feel like that's like god said this is you know some some people you have to use your brain sometimes <laughs> 
I feel like the big brain. Okay? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you got to think with this brain and not the other brain. And I feel like that's the vibe of this message. And you know what I'm saying? So like for somebody, they're going to have to get ready. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they got to... They not used to it, you know what I'm saying? That like, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like God said, it's not it's not a situation where this is somebody that's slow or stupid or you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, it's not that kind of vibe. I just feel like God is saying, you know, it, it's 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 just like what you're used to. It's not a situation where somebody is deliberately, and it may be that too. It may be a situation where somebody is not deliberately trying to hurt you or deliberately trying to make you disrespect you or make you feel any kind of way, but that's simply what they used to and they don't realize you know what i'm saying sometimes people don't realize that something is disrespectful until it's done to them or until they feel what it feels like so uh, seriously some people don't understand that you know what i'm saying some people will go around saying that they don't care who they person friends with until they friend have a best friend of the opposite sex and then they realize that all the activities that they be doing with their friend, with they with they person, is now being done with that that best friend. That you know what I'm saying. They used to hang out together. Now they hanging out with their friend. And they used to play games. And now they playing games. They used to do this, that, 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 that. You know what I'm saying. They used to. You know. I just feel like it's that kind of vibe. Like, um, and I feel like this is the reason that it can cause problems in relationships because when you, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously you ain't gonna want, come on now. I, I just feel like, I, I don't know why some people, like, I just feel like it is very childish, petty, and like uh, hypocritical for anyone to assume, oh, they should be okay with such and such flirting with a man or with a girl. They should be okay with such and such staring at them. They should be okay that such and such is chasing them around. They should be okay that this person is trying to get them to do this, that, and enticing them and trying to... What? Would you be okay with it if it was your man? Would you be okay with it if it was your girl? If it was the other way around, would it be cool? Would it be cool? Would it be cool for such and such to come and bend over in front of your person? Let's be real. Let, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Would it be cool for somebody to be playing in your face if it was you? No, baby. You'll be ready to throw your purse down, kick your shoes off, and throw some hands. And that, like, and I just feel like, <laughs> I just feel like God is said for whoever this is for. Your person may not be ready. If, if your person is not ready, you may need to chill. Okay, I just feel like you may need to chill, or um, you may just need to, uh, like, mm. that's that. Uh, mm. I don't know. Maybe it'll come out in another message. But I feel like that's what this message is. Your person may not be ready, and it may be a situation where this person was so used to doing what they do that that's the norm. And what you know, what I'm saying when you go being single being in a relationship being married these are you know what i'm saying different vibes and it's always a different situation you know what i'm saying it's not always gonna be a situation where um it's not gonna feel the same it's going to feel it's going to be different it's going to like you know what i'm saying it's not going to be a situation where you're going to um be able to do the same thing you know what i'm saying like it should be changes. You know what I'm saying? And I get that. It shouldn't be a situation where you have a complete personality change just because you're in a relationship. But it also should be a situation where, you know what I'm saying, you not doing the same things you used to because you are now connected to somebody or you're now married to somebody, whatever it is you got going on. <sighs> but anyways, that's the message, y'all. I just feel like, but that's the message, y'all. And, and that's the message, y'all. And regardless to whoever this is for, I just feel like that's a warning. Like, God is saying this person is not ready for you. And, you know, for some of you, that could be a situation. Like, I, I, I like it could be a situation where y'all split up. And that's what I really feel like. This is somebody that it would literally feel like pull and tug trying to force a relationship with. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to force nobody. If somebody, like... I. If somebody don't want to be with you, you got to, like, um, let them do their thing. It shouldn't be a situation where you trying to, like, hold your foot on their neck. You know what I'm saying? God said he don't want you to do that. Don't do that, okay? If somebody feel like they want to be with such and such and they want to go here and they want to go there, let them do their thing. I'm like, And I just feel like that's what it is. If they feel like they want to be single for the rest of their life, let them do their thing. And that's just what it is. Because sometimes... I feel like we, you know what I'm saying? The message, like, it may 
relate to you in certain instances and it may feel like it's for you, but everybody have free will. And in reality, if you are, you know what I'm saying, with somebody that, you know what I'm saying, they and they decide that they don't want to be with you, what can you do? You can't make nobody be with you. You cannot make nobody act right. And then on top of that, who's the judge of what acting right is? And I'm just saying this to say, except for God. And I'm saying this to say that, like, you know what I'm saying? And even when it comes down to that, even if like, even if the person decides they have the choice, they have the opportunity to decide to be completely and deliberately and outright, you know what I'm saying? Disobedient. They have that. They have the right to do that. That's their choice because they have free will. And when you think about it like that, as hurtful as it can be, when you look at somebody and you think to yourself, we could do so much and we could be like, we could do so much and we could do like, we could really build a beautiful life together. And you know what I'm saying? They literally just don't want it. You know what I'm saying? You may not know why. You never know. Um, you know what I'm saying? You never know. You never know why or what may be going on. But I just feel like this is a situation where God is saying, don't force it. If it's a, it, like, if it, 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 and it don't even matter what kind of stage y'all like, regardless to if y'all are friends, engaged, married, y'all, you know what I'm saying? With child, having kids, got kids, whatever it is. God said it shouldn't be, it should not be a situation where you are trying to force your person to be with you because God goes, you know what I'm saying? God will deal with them depending on whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Just like when people cheat on their wife or with they, or on their husbands, there's shame, embarrassment, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? That like it connected to that. When somebody, um, run out on, you know what I'm saying? They person that like it's shame connected to that. When um people, you know, abandon their kids, abandon their families and just, you know what I'm saying, just so that they could uh have a cheap little thrill. It's shame that is attached to that. It's shame. It's shame that comes with that. And you know what I'm saying? And I understand that everything is not always what it seems. Because, it, and that's why God is the judge of all things. You know what I'm saying? And that rhyme, but that's what it really is. God said he's the judge of all things. Everything is not always what it seems. Sometimes it could be a situation where, because, and you know, I'm being reminded of how some women, when they get out of abusive relationships, controlling, manipulative relationships, they have to take that opportunity and get out with a dash. And baby, trust me, I know. And I'm saying this because sometimes you don't have an opportunity to pack anything. You don't have an opportunity to call anybody. You don't have an opportunity to explain anything to anyone. And sometimes, uh, you know what I'm saying? One thing that I will say as somebody that has you know, looked into I, I, uh, abusive relationships and things like that. Um, it's sad, but a lot of women have to leave their kids. And the reason that they have to leave their kids is because if they bring those kids with them, that man, they are obligated to tell him where they stay until they are able to get certain court orders put in place. And you know what I'm saying? And then the man can hurry up and try to call the police and say that she kidnapped the kids. And in reality, she's trying to get away from him. Her, you know, head bleeding. And the kids, you know, but it, see, the, but that's how, you know what I'm saying, the world is today that, you know what I'm saying, people like that you know and i just feel like it's not always what it seems and because it's not always what it seems it's not always gonna be a situation where god is gonna strike somebody just because from somebody else's perspective they do it evil but at the same time simultaneously it's not a situation that when somebody is deliberately doing evil god is not gonna strike them you know what i'm saying or god is gonna get confused just because they made it seem as if they not really doing evil and they did nothing wrong you know what i'm saying because when it really come down to it like I just felt like uh, God said for somebody, you, when you make your mess, you have to clean it up. And I, it's not a situation where you can just um, walk away all the time. But I feel like with this message right here, and that may, like, that is the message. God said it's not always a situation where you can just walk away. And for some of y'all, this is somebody that they not ready for the relationship that God have in store for y'all. But 
for whatever reason, they can't just walk away. And you know what I'm saying? It's gonna call it could cause frustration and anger. It could cause arguments. And you know what I'm saying? Because it like it's just giving like the kind of vibe where somebody is irritated with you, but they like they don't really have a, a real reason to be mad at you. You ain't do nothing, but at the same time they feel some kind of way. And you know, that's not fair that you don't don't you don't wanna be in a um you know, be with somebody that don't want to be with you. Nobody wants that. You know what I'm saying? That they 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 really want to be with somebody else and they wondering how it would have been if they would have ended up with such and such. And what if they would have ended up with this person and that person and this is who they supposed to be with. This is what it... And you know what I'm saying? It's like if somebody is constantly thinking like this, when they look at you, all they going to see is hate, anger, and disgust because they feel like you are in the way of them and their possibilities. So sometimes... It will be a situation where you may even feel like I can't take this no more because who want to go through that? Don't nobody want to feel like the second option. Every time such and such come around, not all of a sudden you mad. Not all of a sudden you got an attitude with me. Not all of a sudden I'm doing something wrong. Not all of, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't nobody want to be, you know, like who wants to feel that way? I just feel like this is, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people can be so mean like really mean and not even like they don't even realize that they being you know what i'm saying like i don't know and i know you know what i'm saying I, 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 i'm i'm big wrong 33 years old and you know what i'm saying bro you know like we could you know be tougher and all that etc cetera, etc cetera. but i am a human and i do have feelings i have emotions and i can't stay it, it 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 would hurt, you know what I'm saying, to be in this kind of position to where God literally sent you to somebody, you're everything they asked for, and they literally are angry that you are there, they don't want you, and they are looking at somebody that was handpicked by Satan himself, and that's who they want, and they want you out their way. Baby, the heartache, the pain, <laughs> the stress. <laughs> but God said for somebody like, they not ready. They not ready. They not, They wasn't ready. They not ready. They not ready. They wasn't ready. And for some of y'all, it could be a situation where God say time up. Like he ain't waiting for them to get ready no more. Time is it's over. That chapter is closed. Okay, baby. Close the book. Throw it in the, in the fire. Okay, Thank, that's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Baby, if you want to, you know what I'm saying, help your girl out today because I am hungry and I am trying to figure out how I'm going to get, you know what I'm saying, a place to lay my head tonight. You can do so by using my chime, uh, dollar sign, Stars Cartel, or my website, starscartel.com. Deuces.